How in the heck are we gonna get this done? I think of all the things he discussed, the conveyor belt was the one that stuck out in my head. And it's just moving down the line. Like a conveyor belt? Like a conveyor belt. Well, where in the world do you buy a conveyor belt? Yeah, let's just build it. Forget buying it. We got the tools over here. I got it in my head. You get a bunch of rednecks, wood, tools, screws, and nails, and they can build anything. Now, it may not be the prettiest anything, but I guarantee you that old dog will hunt. I don't know if it'll actually improve things around here. But it ain't gonna hurt things. Conveyor belt, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. I'm in. It ain't gotta be straight. That's just a suggestion. Cut right there. Looks good. Work it, work it. That's it. Well, boys, I think we did it. That's good. Gotta love it when a plan comes together. That thing looks factory built. Mountain Man, it was all due to your hammering skills. Well, how's it gonna run? Mountain Man, fire it up! Hey. Uh oh, uh oh. That's what I'm Whoa. talking about. Oh, 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 Here we go. Ah. Oh, yeah. What? It's working. Come on, let's get to work. I would say we have success on our hands, and maybe that's why Willie is the CEO. Willie's gonna be fired up about this. Genius. It's working, boys. Got something going now. And here we were thinking you were dumb. Ten boxes, we're getting a box a minute. Oh, well, that's pretty good. I think we can actually go faster. I think I can give it some more gas if you want. Crank it up. You know, I'm a big proponent of product testing. What if we just put the box at the end and put the products on the belt? That's fine with me. I mean, if we're going to be as good as we can be, we got to see what we're working with. Go! Go! <laughs> Nothing to it, boys. Oh, Willie, you don't like this. Uh-oh, that ain't gonna <laughs> The conveyor belt idea, Willie's, it actually wasn't a bad idea. Things are just flying off the assembly line. What about a man? Let's launch that boat over. What about Mountain Man in the boat? All right, you ready? I'm gonna let her rip. Here we go, Niagara Falls. You ready? Yeah. All right, Jay, fire up. Hey! What in the world? What in the world? What is this? I don't want to brag, but I think this is one of the most impressive things I've ever been in charge of, the building of the conveyor belt. Well, I'm ready to run for political office after that. You got like four boxes done. We got to have 15 times that. And five stooges are at it again. I mean, it's like spoon feeding five crying, overweight, bearded babies with full diapers, poopy diapers. We just got to get back to work. I mean, y'all ain't got crap done. Get the boxes out. This I don't like. That I definitely don't like. Come All on. right, we're ready. Let's go. We're ready. Work, work, work. This one is getting good. I guess y'all wonder why I brought you out here. Try to figure out where we're going to lunch. No, we ain't going to lunch. You brought us here because you're old and you have bad judgment. No. Lunch? No, no lunch. Because you needed something to do. No. Lunch? Look, you guys need to focus, all right? I got two days left, and then, hey, all this knowledge I've got is gone forever. So we're not going to lunch? No, we ain't going to lunch. All right, fine. Show us your knowledge. I can just show it to you better. Oh, look, he just asked you to show I mean, it, not to tell I hate it. to break it to you, what but when I think of knowledge, hey, I don't you think you of what? you. Knowledge. Look, as you get older, OK, <clears throat> you need to share the wisdom you've gained with the younger generation. 
Okay, it's called Praying It Forward. Check this out. What, Nora? Uh, huh. How many ply is this? Four ply. It's like a cloud, man. Some of you may think it's weird that I've got a secret vault of, you know, toilet paper at work. Well, hey, you ever wipe your behind with steak knives? If there's one area that I'm concerned about or I'm gonna take care of, it's gonna be my behind. It smells good. It does. Send it. What are y'all doing? Oh, we're just checking out some toilet paper here. Yeah, I don't think I even want to know. <laughs> you want to borrow some? <laughs> no, I, thanks. What's next, huh? I saved the best for life. I knew it. That sucker bought us lunch. OK. The grand finale, huh? Uh, the grand finale. It's the last one, boys. This better be good. Well, what do you see behind me? Boxes? That's what I thought. What? What in the <laughs> world is that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at that. He gone. OK, boys. And let the nap begin. <laughs> <laughs> this hidden nap fort takes things to a whole new level. It's like Cy's bat cave. But instead of using it to fight crime, he uses it to fight drowsiness. Hey, look here. Nightlight, cooler, bed. Got Boy. a picture of a cat hey, in there. No, that ain't just a cat. That's sweet pizza. I'm a compadre. I can't wait to use this thing for myself. Although I'm not going to drink out of the iced tea jug in there because who knows how clean that is. You're missing a urinal. Actually, is that even iced tea? Hey, there's my nap fork, boys. So you came in on your off days to build something to avoid working. Yeah. That seems kind of ridiculous. That's from the man that don't have himself a nap for it. Now, I will fumigate it, but... Yeah, I bet you better get a different mattress. Oh, no. That ain't ain't no probably wrong got a few stains on it. Cups of the fleas. The mattress is fine, boys. I mean, boys, this is what I was talking about. I mean, it's not that bad. However, we need a refurbishing of it. My idea of happiness is killing things. Boop, 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 boop. So duck blinds are a big thing for me, especially one I've spent 20 years shooting ducks out of. Looks like we got us a snake den here. They've all denned up here. We hey, killed a lot of ducks out of this hole right here, out of this little old blind. I mean, it can be fixed. Now, I know you're sentimental toward it, but I'm just, the best thing to do is just to let it go and let's start over. Phil has like 35 blinds down there, but he gets really sentimental. He gets hung up on one because back in 87, I, we shot that whatever out of it. And I'm like, Dad, you've got to let these things go. Willie Boy and Jace, since they weren't in on the building, they can just come in and say, well, yeah, let's get rid of it. You know, comes easy if you weren't down there building the doggone thing. Phil, there's only one way to deal with this blind. Hey, Red, you got it all wired up? Oh, yeah, it's ready to go. Ready to go, no mistakes. No mistakes. Let's do this. Willie has always been a destructive young man. I compare him to a young coon. What he can't tear up, he craps on. Blow that sucker up. Bar in the hole. All right, what happened? What happened, Red? Red. What do you think? Go ahead, Red. Whoa. Let me tell you a little bit about redneck logic. If you want to take something away from him, just blow it up, because then he's going to be so enamored by the fire whoo, that he'll forget all about what he's losing. I mean, you can blow his house up. If it looks cool enough, he's fine with it. I've been thinking. I have come up with a solution for that stunt you pulled, blowing my duck line up. That needed to happen. We've got to replace that duck line. As you know, your mama's been on my back about this raggedy RV parked in my yard. We're going to take that thing, stick it about 20 foot up in there on a platform, and we're standing there shooting ducks out of it. Oh, good lord. Here we go. <laughs> I can see that RV 20 feet up, camouflage net, brushed up. I mean, I can see it as something you'd say, look at here, look at here. Good times have come our way. I mean, this is like some kind of deal out of Hollywood. Think about it, boys. It will be the mother of all duck bites. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> my family is only interested in hunting and being out there in the woods. 
But that doesn't pay the bills. It's not a bad idea. It's a treehouse for adults. An RV in the trees? I thought it was brilliant. Well, my question is, how are you going to get it in the trees? I got reinforcements coming. I hear some kind of machinery, boys. Being a wealthy redneck does have its advantages. The cavalry has arrived. Because no matter how dumb an idea is, all right, boys, let's get to work. We can always hire an entire redneck army to make sure the job gets done. Perfect. Boy, I'm proud of that job y'all did there. Boys, it looks like a million dollars. Let's raise it up. I'm a duck blind builder from way back, but this one is a little different, let me put it that way. That RV is just a piece of junk. If one screw falls out of it, all the walls will fall out and it'll just tumble over right there. Good luck getting that thing in the air. Well, hey, are we gonna lift this thing up and put it up there or not? Ty, why are you saying hey every sentence? No, no, hey. What does hey mean? Just, I'm just wondering. Y'all give it the meaning you want it to have. Hey. The word hey is like a fabric woven into size character. Hey, Owen. Let's go. Hey, these clowns, hey, they don't know what they're doing. He just hey again. Hey. Hey. It's automatic. I say hey, hey. Hey can mean yes. Hey can mean maybe. Hey can mean no. Hey can mean next week. The bottom line is you got to understand me to understand hey. 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 Let's get it done, boys. Oh, yeah. Smooth, steady as you go. Uh -huh. All right, he's on down. Watch the extensor. Hey, go pick up a little bit and then move on out. Now we cook up a peanut oil. Hey. <laughs> Hey, okay. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Come on in, boys. Watch this. Huh? We got heat. What about that? You can cook. Microwave. That works. Coffee maker, huh? My house isn't this nice. It's a wooded getaway. Now, that was more Willie's department. Decorating. I like it in there. Nice. But this is more nice. Hey, this is a good view. I'm glad you blew it up, Will. I hear you. I bet I could sell one or two of these. Especially in the Southern culture, young people are taught to respect older people, myself included. So I use that to my advantage. What can I get out of that bunch today before I get them out of here? I'm gonna patch that hook right there, and I'm gonna show you boys how to do it. They always come up with excuses right off the bat. Well, actually, actually we're gonna go watch uh, last night's game, game film, see what we did wrong. I've got football practice, I'm sick, I've had a sore throat for three days. Right now, I'm throwing up, I'm bleeding over here. Great, let me show you something right here. Free labor. Can't beat it. Well, if y'all gonna go to work on the nets, I'm gonna go start on lunch. How about Phil, we really do need to go. We're gonna go watch film and stuff. Let me explain something to y'all. See, y'all are trying to make it. Well, I did make it. I played at Louisiana Tech. The old blonde bomber, old Bradshaw, he was a second stringer to me. Part of the reason I was tying up hook nets and he wasn't. See you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. This right here will help your hand-eye coordination beyond anything you ever thought. Take a See what I'm saying? Football. <laughs> Lateral. Oh, I know. You know, who? <laughs> See what I'm saying? All right. See what I'm saying? Reed, I think we just got Mr. Miyagi by your grandfather. Football. All right, dude. Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'm almost done right here. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not bad. Boys, that takes care of your little hand-eye coordination, see? All right. So, uh, All right, we're going to head out of here. we're going to hit the huh? road. Well, before you do, look here. I'm fast running out of how to relate everything to football. But one thing for sure, I'm not running out of chores at all. Come out of your shoes. Let me show you something. Come out of our shoes? Yeah, it'll help you a lot. Take them off. Whoa. 
Yeah. Yeah, this y'all need some work in this area right here. Your feet looking like this, like little tender women's feet, no good. You want the bottom of your feet calluses, thick callus. Y'all get over there and get that boat, get on one end, you walk across that gravel, it's gonna toughen it up your feet. You wanna win? Yes. You wanna win? Yes. Y'all grab that boat and head that way. We gotta win, big team. See, they're young enough and dumb enough not to realize that you're gonna use every ounce of physical labor you can get out of them. All right, boys, show me what you got. Footwork. Y'all oh. gonna have the toughest feet on the whole squad. Oh, oh crap. Learn how to play with pain. <laughs> Pain's a good thing. Great, I think your grandfather's lost it. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. You'd think I would have learned by now. <laughs>